Hey, 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 what's up, y'all? Welcome back to another episode of FVD Elements. And today, I want to say first, this is for my man, Lucas. Uh, he's been following the channel for a while now, and he participates quite a bit. Uh, Lucas wanted me to do the Expedition GE Force first drop. So I spent some time doing that for him, and here we have it. Uh, second thing I want to say is... Uh, really is a question to myself when am I ever going to learn because every single time someone asks me to do something I think oh yeah that's going to be real easy uh, and then it turns out to be a little bit more difficult than I anticipated uh, so one thing I want to remind you is if you're just learning to use FED uh, trying to recreate something is much more difficult than just creating something from scratch especially if you're really trying to get the the shaping and all that down and, and really make it look like it fits in the footprint and so forth it's really difficult to do. So uh, if you're just starting with FED, I recommend maybe looking at some of my series. I'll put a link up to them, uh, looking at some of the elements I've created and so forth, and just try to make your own version versus actually trying to uh, recreate something. Uh, but you see here, I did about four tries before I got this perfectly, well, not perfectly, but I'd say it's about 95% there. I, I definitely matched up. I really went out of my way this time to match up the height and the angle of descent on this uh, and I watched the video repeatedly uh, to make sure that I understood what was going on in this drop so uh, in imperial units this is 173 feet tall and the angle of descent is 82 degrees just like in the original ride and if we do a quick ride on it right here let's go into it and whoops I go back just a little bit I went ahead and added the extra airtime hill afterwards just so I could get an idea of what it looked like uh, you see if we go down the drop, it looks pretty good. Here we go. Uh, I may have overbanked it just a little bit. I'm going to discuss that in just a minute because there are, let's see here, there are three things going on with this drop that I noticed uh, right off the bat. Uh, the first is that it, it takes roughly about a second and a half to two seconds to go from uh, to make this complete roll right here and it does overbank it doesn't go down say 90 degrees it goes a little bit more than that uh, and let me see if we look at the graph here you'll see that mine does 152 actually uh, and then it corrects itself back to the left a little bit and you see here mine does about 78 degrees and then it sort of straightens out uh, Intamin does that a lot, and I think it's a, a nice effect actually when they're going into a roll. And I think BM has done it a few times too, as well. Uh, they tend to roll the opposite direction first, just a little bit, and it actually makes it seem like a smoother transition. I really like the way they do that. So you can see coming down here, it, it, it pretty much, if you watch the videos of Expedition G Force, it, it pretty much follows what happens there. Uh, so there was one problem when I was working on this originally I thought it was going to be very simple and I will show you that in one of the older versions uh, you will see let me turn this one off and if we go to the very first version I did you'll see here what uh, you see the shaping is not very good on this at all this was the first version and you see here what I'm calling sort of an underbank you can see it in the shadow right there and what causes that if we go in and ride it is what I figured out was, and you can see if we take a ride on this, it's not quite as good as the other one. Uh, that's because of the heart line. Uh, the track is actually going underneath you to, to keep the heart line higher. And when I watch the videos of Expedition GE Force, this just doesn't exist. So uh, it took me about three tries. I kept trying and trying and trying to do something with, uh, with that. Um, and finally it dawned on me this morning uh, that there must be laterals on this turn. I've never ridden GE4, so I'm not 100% certain about that. But in the first uh, version, let me take this off one more time. In the first version, I was doing it so that there were no laterals at all on the four section. So we go to the four section, you can see right here, this green bar is perfectly even, so there are no laterals whatsoever. Uh, I thought, well, let me try it with just introducing just a little bit of laterals to see what happens. And immediately that took care of that problem. So if we go to the final one and edit, 
and the fourth section you will see I just introduced a slight lateral right here it goes down to about 0.6 I think that might be a little extreme I haven't ridden Expedition GE4 so I can't tell you for 100% certain but it definitely uh, took care of that that underbank problem as I call it now some rides do have that I think the uh, new Vacoma Lek coaster has that sort of look to it it does sort of go underneath itself uh, but as far as I could tell, uh, Expedition G-Force didn't have that. And one other thing I did was slightly alter the uh, center on this graph because I wanted it to, when it was coming out of the lift, it was starting to rotate just too quickly. The entire rotation was happening too quickly, especially for the speed it was going. So I kind of made the, the moment when it's rotating the most a little further down when it's going a little bit faster. And that really helped on that a lot. So you see the two things that really helped on this were... Uh, introducing the laterals and doing the uh, the center and finally the last thing I did <clears throat> excuse me was the smoothing I added extra smoothing usually I just put smoothing on the top which I'm not sure if you can see this here I'll put up a screenshot of it but I usually just put smoothing on the zero region which is the entire ride I went ahead and added smoothing on section number five as well which is the force right here uh, because it was just a little bit jerky and what you can see here is this line right here this dash line uh, shows the smoothing technique so you can see right here if I make that a little larger you can see how it sort of keeps that straight so it doesn't go through this bump right here and that really helped it out a lot too uh, and if I do a comparison I'm not gonna do any comparisons of uh, the first drop any angle but this because everything I could find online was copyrighted and I'm not really trying to, to put someone's copyrighted work up here so uh, you can see one thing though is that wait a minute uh, this is from Google images and I believe it's about like that uh, the one thing I could probably change is it, it should go this direction a little bit more I could probably fix that because it, the angle there is a little more than 90 degrees I think in the original I could probably fix that but I'm fine with the way it is. It rides well. It looks pretty good. Uh, it, it really does look uh, pretty similar to Expedition G's Forces drop. So I'm just going to leave it the way it is. So Lucas, there you go, man. I'm going to, of course, uh, put this up. For, I'll put a link to this file uh, for you to download if you want to take a look at it. Um, and as always, I'm still taking requests. If anybody has something they want to see, uh, feel free to let me know and I will build it for you. Otherwise, that's going to be it for this episode. Take care and enjoy the ride.